Tell me what you know about the work of art you brought here today. I don't know much about it. I've had it for about 20 years. I've done some research online, couldn't find anything like it. Uh, I saw some smaller images, like the houses made out of butterfly wings. So it's been puzzling, and that's why I wanted to bring it in and see if I can find out some right. information. Well, I'll tell you what I know about it, and I, I, ha I personally own three pieces of it, so I've seen, I've seen what you have here today. But nothing at all like what you brought here today, because what is the norm is what you have. It's, uh, most of it comes out of South America, most of it done in the, marketed in the Brazil area. Lots of butterflies down there. It's still being made today, but not as beautifully executed as the one you have brought in here today. You generally see trays that we use to hold glasses on a bar, to hold makeup on a lady's uh, dresser or something. The ones you're talking about, like the little houses, mm -hmm. I have one that's made out of those birds, depict birds. But what you have here today is a totally over-the-top execution of a piece of art done with butterfly wings. What makes this so special and what makes this so just pop is when you look at this carefully, the feathered hair that's done around Napoleon's um, face, the movement of the tail, uh, the prancing of the horse, you have a one-dimensional art piece of artwork here that has a three-dimensional look to it, and that gives it all the bells and whistles that anything like this should have. The color spectrum here, if you can imagine, those are all natural colors of butterfly wings. And to be able to put all of this together and to create uh, the depth, uh, the motion, uh, the, the detail of something like that puts this in a category, not decorative work of art, but a work of art itself.